fact that I'm eating this with This fish looks like it was just killed. Here goes some egg for the Ghanaian people. I think it's about time that I find a man. I've been single all my life. Don't say it with a toy. Monkey. Maybe I want to date a YouTuber. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? I'm gonna take my mask off for a second. Can you guys tell something's different? By this time, you've probably seen the vlog. I went to dye my hair and I'm actually so happy with the color. And my curls just look so much healthier. But anyways, today's video is not about that. Oh, also I'm here. Today we're gonna go to Rofongi, which is an area in Japan. We found this Ghanaian restaurant. We've actually been there once already, but I didn't vlog. So today we're gonna go there and buy some Ghanaian food and do like a little mukbang. It's owned by Ghanaian people, right? Yeah. And the guy from there, what did he say he was from? He told us the other time, I can't remember. I'll probably he ask him again. French. He speaks French too, yeah. It's I very interesting. It's a mountain. What do you feel like eating? Do you think you're gonna eat jollof? Girl, I'm jollof rice. You're jollof rice? I am. The last time I got fufu and Amina got bang. But today, yeah. like, I really just want jollof. I'm waiting that. for you to cook it for us. Comment down below if you want to see me cook jollof by myself. Because the last time I made it, I made it with my grandma. But let me show you guys my outfit real quick. I'm wearing suits and I'm wearing this vest that I got for five dollars with my hair. Oh my god, I'm kind of obsessed with my hair. I, don't yeah, know I really love it. It's yeah, so I really good. love it too. Anyways, we're gonna go to the restaurant right now because we're already running a little bit late. So let's go eat some Ghanaian food. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be turning, keep holding me down. Yeah. It's too many, I'll be turning, he says, I'm gonna buy. No. What's crazy about Japan is like the oh. transport system is so complex because there's so many exits and if you take the wrong exit you're in the same town but like a completely different side. I think we should Oh wait, that's it's the bridge. That direction. So it's here. Oh wait, or is it the other side? Another I think it's not this road. Though. This road it looks a bit too nice. This is this road. Yeah. No, do you remember when we saw the Tokyo Ga and we were like, is that the Tokyo Ga? Oh, yeah, it's that it's the mediocre Tokyo Ga. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Tokyo Tower was like the one of the tallest buildings in Japan at some point in time. Some point. But now it's a completely different building. But yeah. at that time it had so much height and it was like really tall to us. Like when you guys think of Japan, there's that red Eiffel Tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like the place everyone knows Ropongi for, right? Okay, not knows Ropongi for, but there's this bridge that just says Ropongi. I think what Ropongi is known for is like their nightlife, but like kind of like a bougie nightlife, not like normal young people nightlife. I know a lot of Ghanaian people own clubs here. Yeah. Look, there's a kebab restaurant. Hi, <laughs> There are like different types of restaurants here. I mean, like also Japan is like super hip. They low key love cultured. Yeah, low key Japan is more like variety as far as, far as like different countries' food yeah. compared to Ghana. To talk. For sure, hundred percent. So guys, that building you see all the way over there was the tallest building in Japan at one point. Like I at think one it was point, the tallest building, dude. In Japan, at one point. I mean, not building, maybe tower. I don't know. But it was the tallest something. Electrical signaling tower. Amina and I did the same thing the last time we came. We keep passing by the building and we've now walked the same stretch like two, three times. And I feel like the guys at the kebab store think we are, are just like lost or playing hard to get and don't want to buy their food. But I'm really excited because last time I came, I wasn't that hungry. Today, I've not eaten all day. I'm actually hungry. There's also this African reggae bar that we found. There are a couple like bars that are open past eight in Japan. I wonder if that's one of them. Where are you, African Home Touch? Also, there's this place that I used to go to in Ghana and Jolu called Perfect Touch. So whenever any restaurants or like food places called Touch, I'm like Ooh, Perfect Touch. Spread out, no more jumbo, Leo. Spread out, no more bed towel, Leo. Definitely going for jollof rice. Oh, but the fried rice looks so good though. Fried rice loki oh, sounds banging. Right? And also the plantain and pava sauce. Oh, the yam and pava sauce also sounds so good. They have wachi. Oh my god. I miss my wachi lady in East Lagoon. Guys, they even have Guinness. Jollof. Yam and pava sauce. They also have like fufu and stuff like that. And all the soups. Wow. This is a thing, but I want to mix Guinness with ideal milk. 
Let me know if I'm out of pocket. Do you know the irony of me liking Wache? I told this story to you, but I don't know if I told them. When I was like in elementary school in Roman Ridge, right? I used to hate Wache because I didn't like beans. And then after like, I didn't eat the Wache on the plate. So this was like when I was in like class two or three. So they gave me a canteen monitor. She was in like a phone five or something. And they made her sit with me past lunch. And I just sat there and I wasn't eating. And then we sat there till the end of the school day. And the driver came to pick me up. And then years later, now I love Wache. Do you remember? the phase I had, I ate watch it every single day. It was when you were doing basketball. It was when I was playing basketball, I ate watch it every single day. And I also ate it at like really abominous hours. <laughs> abominous. Abominous. Abominous hours. Abominous hours. Yeah. I really want to go to Ethiopia and Kenya. I have friends in both places. Seeing Wodemaya's videos of like him going around Africa, I can't wait till I can do that. Let me know if you guys want to see a Africa tour. And let me know what you guys want to see us do when we're back in Ghana. Because this Ghana December, we're gonna tear it up. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, one month. We need one yeah, month for us to enjoy it. Yeah. I'm excited to see how well I'll be able to make the jollof all by myself. I've made it twice. I made it with friends during Thanksgiving. And then my grandma taught me. And I have that YouTube video, so. And I'm gonna make wings with it. Wings? Yeah. Oh, wow. Either drumstick or wings. Fried thing and some shito. <laughs> Mm. Okay, Amina got these seafood um, calamari type things, so I'm gonna try it. It's with shito. Mm. My Japanese grandparents, my Japanese uncle, they love shito. <gasps> Whenever I almost coming. didn't give them. Here you go, guys. Whenever we come back from Ghana, or whenever my dad comes from Ghana, he always brings shit up for us because my grandparents love it. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, Amina's palava sauce yes. and fish is here. I'm so happy right now. It looks oh my God. so good. I'm gonna take my first bite. Are you in love? Mm. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. I'm about to take the first bite, guys. Here you go, guys. First bite. When Amina gets the gout, just play this video. When Amina gets the gout, just play this video. What the gout? It's like so stuck up. The pudding is going to be so Oh. Okay, Here goes some egg for the Ghanaian people. I love egg. Do you want to have a one? Yeah. Where is the blue egg? Sorry, I said Thank you. Mm. Mm. Guys, the food is great. I mean, it's half Ghanaian and half Japanese, by the way. <laughs> this fish looks like it was just killed. It was just killed, I see that. Why would you put that image in my brain? Mmm. We've not eaten all day, mm -hmm. so we're both really hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm like intensely striving with food. Yeah. I was gonna talk about this random thing. What? You know how we were talking yesterday? And we're like, oh, everyone that I used to talk to is now in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, we really do have issues when it comes to committed relationships. Oh. 
don't you think so? I just generally have a lot of issues with talking to new people. I feel like we both prioritize work so much. And then literally, if you look at like our weekly schedule, we probably only can date someone we're working with. That's such an HR violation. Maybe we need to hire people to date. <laughs> That sounds like a boss today, but the water is boss today. Because literally the grind I mean I know are on right now. We're working every day from morning to evening. We've not even had time to see like friends outside of each other. Mm. You know? Even when I see my sister, she's filming a video of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna be this way for quite a while. It's like exactly. not But Amina and I are gonna try Bumble. How do you feel about that? I assure you. Mm. I think it's about time that I find a man. It's, a bit, it's getting old. Don't think. <laughs> my singleness is getting the joke, old. The joke is getting old. It's getting old. <laughs> we say the same joke every year. It's every year. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm gonna try Bumble. I've never done a dating app. Me neither. You've never, even in the US. But I feel like doing it in Japan particularly is gonna be so interesting. Obviously, I'm gonna make a video. You guys, I've been single all my life. Don't there say comes like a toy, there's a toy. There comes a point where it's like, it was a personality trait, but now it's just like a curse. I say it and people are like, they, they don't even know how to react anymore because I'm like 21 already. <laughs> Mofi, maybe I wanna date a YouTuber. Really? I don't want to date a YouTuber. I will have the same job. I don't want to date a YouTuber. I wanna be with someone who's not in content creation. Cause like, that's what I thought like, the whole time. Anyway, I'm friends with you, so like it works where we're like taking pictures all the time. But when I'm with people who aren't con like doing content creation, I don't want them to take pictures of food. You know? Like, I'm not sure if you can do it, but I don't take out my phone when I'm with other people. people. Yeah. But rather for me, it's like, realistically, I'll probably never go on vacation if I can't film it. Like, at least in the next two, three years, because everything is dedicated to the grind, right? So then, if I'm going on a trip, I'm mostly going to film it. If I'm with someone that doesn't want to film it, then, like. Hmm. Imagine you and I going to Ghana this December and not filming it. Hmm. Do people use dating apps in Ghana? I don't know. That's one thing I want to know because I feel like it's everywhere, but I don't know if, if Tinder and like Bumble is a thing. Apparently it is. Oh really? I asked someone that and they said yeah, but I never looked into it. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I got a coconut ice cream. We're gonna share it. Thank you, Mama. Coconut. Oh my god. This is so good. I think this is the best coconut ice cream I've had. It's very I usually don't like coconut ice cream. This I'm, a, I'm a coconut good. ice cream fanatic. Coconut I go to different ice cream stores just to get coconut ice cream. This goes on my top ice cream in life. I wanna just buy a bag of it. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> if you guys are watching this, you guys are subscribed. Subscribe. I sometimes I get confused. Yeah. Sometimes I get confusion just because I'm like, why are you not subscribed? You watch my videos. I am confusion. Should I get another one? one? To take home? I'm cold. I like how you're throwing shade at me as if I cast it in now. Why does it have to be to take home? Because it's taking home much. <laughs> Also, I wanted to take a sample. That was so good. That was good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Chocolate. All right, guys, we're gonna leave soon. I just um, that was great. That was such a grand amazing time. Mm. Honestly, food makes me happy. Ghana makes me happy. I can't wait to go back. I miss all of you guys. I need to see you guys when I come back home. Huh? Also, look at how cute my hair is. The glow up is real. It's happening. It's in the process. Oh, and also, by the way, this is just like the first shade. It's gonna get blonder and blonder as I do it more and more because I want to go blonde. Thank you. Do you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about it.